I have a group of people who are all successful and they've been running their enterprises. So they're accustomed to kind of making decisions and being the boss. How do you get so many people who are accustomed to being a boss to work together in a non-profit? I had one advantage that I had been a board member of the Computer History Museum. And because of that, I had seen how nonprofits work. And Cirrus Logic also was such that having you know gone through the startup stage and now a public company, you do get exposed to uh, things that leads to your own personal development. So I was a professor in computer science, uh, come electrical engineering at MIT for five years. And from there I went to University of Utah and my research work led to starting Cirrus Logic, which I started in Utah and moved it to the valley. That's how I ended up coming to Silicon Valley in 1984. 2015 is an interesting year. This July, I will have been in this country for 50 years. <laughs> you know, it's very natural to start thinking, you know, about how to give back to the society. Thai, you know, uh, concept, you know, started with A.J. Patel, you know, who took it upon himself, made the effort, and sort of persuaded me to be more seriously involved. As a early group got together, and there were people from India, there were people from Pakistan, and we had one person from Bangladesh, and we said, you know, instead of just going about giving back by just collecting money and, you know, giving money to others, let's think how we might be very effective. That deliberation led us to the conclusion that, you know, we were special to the extent, you know, we had built businesses and we had that knowledge. The other thing we said, we've come to this country and, you know, we are here to stay, which meant our giving back was going to be for the community at large. And that was a very fundamental sort of sentiment, you know, of, of the group. You know, it became clear in order to make, you know, it successful and bring other very successful people to participate, you know, it needed a leader. And so the group by proclamation said, so us, you are our leader. You cannot say no. And I said, okay, I'll be happy to be the leader, but you know, this work is not done by a person. So you have to, you know, do this thing with me. And if, if you promise to be with me, I will do the work and, and then we'll together build this organization time. A month after I was asked to be leader, I said, gentlemen, we should do something worthwhile together. And my proposal is that in spring, you know, we have a workshop for entrepreneurs where we teach them, you know, how, how to do things. And then later we can mentor them. And in fall, we should have a financial conference, more designed for the companies that are associated with us to go, you know, raise money from the financial people. We did meticulous work on how to plan that workshop, divided up the task among ourselves, made a syllabus, and went to work. We departed from the traditional way of how you run a conference. It had to be done very professionally persuaded the group 
I wish to hold it in Fairmont, the best hotel in San Jose, California. The rest of it, how it is conducted, where it is conducted, the polish, professionalism, we must have it just like a sales conference of Cirrus Logic. There were three ladies, okay, my wife, you know, Satish's wife, Neera, my wife, Jayashree, Neera, and him, which is Kailash's wife. These people work there every day, you know, because you need staff to do the conference. We started with whatever 20 odd people we had, and I think by the time the conference came, I had a probably hundred volunteers. My motivation was that they would consider, you know, us worthy of engaging. And when we tried to get uh, booking, we didn't have any um, credibility. And they said, well, you have to put in deposit. So that's, that's the time we he said, okay. I wrote the first large check. So, in, in some ways, you know, in the natural process, I ended up being, being the first, first, fund, first uh, financer uh, of, uh, of Thai. You know. I wanted to plan this, you know, very well. So I went to people who used to do sales planning at Cirrus Logic. Those folks said, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I said, this is, this is what is in our mind, this is what we're trying to do. They liked it so much, they said, I'll give you an offer you can't refuse. We don't charge you only fee. All we want on the you know, uh, last page of the booklet you put, just give us an acknowledgement. I said, I will more than happily do that. It was like, you know, we being introduced to the broad community of Silicon Valley. My wife was the first, you know, what are they call the uh, executive director for three years. And so we, we couldn't pay any people, right? So these ladies, you know, there was a group of ladies I told, they managed the office and gave the, the professional presence of a organization. We are here ready to do business. I believe, okay, in, in the next 10 years from now, our community will play an important role in creation of wealth through our entrepreneurs, and we need to prepare them. We need to give them, you know, not only skills, but the values, because otherwise other people will define their values. So that this is, this is a responsibility of us. There is uniqueness in time, okay? There are many, many organizations to help young people. To my knowledge, so far, Thai is the only organization where the successful and the aspiring come together. People's first reaction meeting me in Thai was, oh, you just like us. I come to Thai, you come, come here, you know, I'm available. Thai is made by a group of passionate people. If you want to raise the standard of living, it's not a work of one person or another. No, we have created a community. In the end, you can make money. Money alone doesn't buy happiness. Okay? Happiness comes from doing meaningful things. That's what we're trying to do in time.